Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be showing you all this flexi rod set that I did on my blown out hair. As you all saw in the previous video, I did go ahead and give myself a good old trim and I slept with my hair in this ponytail overnight. So I am just brushing through my hair to make sure that I get all of those tangles out. And of course, you know I like sections, so I am going to section my hair off into two sections in the front and then I'll be working with the back all together. Today I'm using these blue flexi rods that I picked up from my local beauty supply store. They are by Annie and they are 9 16 inch. They were super affordable and got the job done. I am loving this mousse. This is the mousse by Do. It is kind of like a foam lotion, wrap lotion. It really just defines my curls and I like the hold that it gives my hair. So I am using this generously as I work it through my hair. Before rotting your hair, you are going to want to make sure that your hair is thoroughly detangled and to make sure that I have the best hold possible, I am going to start this section off with a twist. This is going to make sure that my roots are as flat as possible and give them a little curl on their own. And then I am going to add the rod to the ends of my hair and I'm very careful to kind of start closer to the bottom of the rod on one side but not too much and I am going to make sure that I smooth the ends of my hair even if I need to go back with the comb and straighten them out and add more foam lotion you want the ends to be as smooth as possible on the rod because this is how you make sure you get the best curl possible and then I'm going to wind my hand a couple of times and then I'm going to put it as close to my roots as possible. And when I bend over that top piece, it is definitely on the side where you can actually see my hair. And then I'm going to kind of tuck it up under the ending piece like this. And then I am going to bend that other end up to make sure that the perm rod stays in place. And it is nice and tight, but not too tight. And I don't have to worry about it falling out while I sleep because I am going to sleep in these after sitting up under the dryer. And I'm gonna move on to the knit section in case you didn't get it the first time, no worries. We're gonna do this a few times. I'm starting off with a twist after adding my foam lotion and detangling. And I'm gonna go back and detangle again. Having your ends as straight as possible without any tangles is how you get the best curl possible. And I'm going to roll as tightly and make sure that those ends are smooth, smooth, smooth before rolling up, winding, and bending the rod. Trying to forget, but you won't let me. Something in my brain wants you. I've been thinking by myself, asking for help, but nothing seems to work on you. Yeah. Another tip to keep in mind as you roll your hair is that you kind of want your hair to be spaced out evenly. This is how you basically control the type of curl you get and you want them to kind of match the other curls that you have created as well. So making sure that they are spaced out evenly and not too gappy or not too close together. It will also affect how long your curls will fall if they will be shorter or longer as well. And here is what my hair is looking like once all of the rods are in and I am going to sit up under this dryer for 30 to 45 minutes and go to bed. <laughs> so I did use one of these bonnets that I had. It is one of my very large bonnets that I can kind of make larger and make smaller. It shockingly fit over all of my rods so I am super proud of it. So I am going to remove the rods and this was actually kind of a test when all of them are in but I am just trying to be careful to just expand the rods so I'm folding those ends and I am just going to unroll them in the opposite direction. If I can I am going to follow those wands that I created and reinforce that curl as I take them out just like that. I just can't stop thinking about you You got me feeling some type of way You make me want to stay in on it You're the reason I can't get out of my head 
thing that I like is that as you take out these rods the twist actually kind of untwists itself so you really don't have to worry about that twist that you created and if the pattern is going to be different because as you see here it automatically separates I am going to add this curl shine right on top even though my hair is already shiny you cannot have enough shine so I'm spraying that up there and I want to squeeze that in just a little bit to make sure that it is inside of those hair cuticles before I begin to separate. As you separate, only separate where you feel that you can reinforce the curl the most. The foam lotion by The Do is really good for allowing you to really pull the hair apart wherever you like and just being able to reinforce that curl by twirling it around your hand. So I am going to repeat that process all over my head. And I am going to fluff those curls out a bit to kind of get that volume that I want. And I'm actually going to go in with the tail end of this comb to lift my roots to give myself even more volume. As you all can see, I am holding the ends of the curls while I am doing this because I don't want to disrupt the definition that I achieved and all of the redefining that I did when I separated. And I like to give my hair a few shakes just to really check out that volume and that movement, but also to see where my hair is naturally going to fall. I really, really love to check those things out when I am styling my hair and to just play in it and love on it a little bit. As always, I really, really hope you all enjoyed the video and found it useful, and I can't wait to see you all in the next one. See ya!